Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Gunhead. Uh, this has been on my radar for a while, a long while. I've actually, this has been on my wish list since it was kind of revealed or announced it was a, a thing because like this is, this seems like exactly my jam. Um, this is a, I didn't realize, a uh, sequel to Crypt Arc, which uh, a lot of been, a lot of people have been saying like flew under the radar and I think that's very fair. Um, I kind of rarely, if ever, see anyone talking about Crypt Arc. Which is a shame because it was a really cool game. It was kind of a, like an action roguelike um, with, I, I don't know, like tons of systems like weapons and uh, like kind of a mech thing top down. It was it was a lot and it was really cool and it was difficult. Um, and we're going to get into how this game uh, feels similar and how it differs as well as well as what I like about it and maybe a couple things I'm, I'm a little iffy on. but. For the most part, I'm very positive on Gunhead, and I really like it so far. So let's get into it. I'm actually uh, halfway through a game. It's got your kind of standard, like, um, pick pick your mission in a roadmap kind of thing going on. What, is, what do you mean, warp? So uh, I've done a couple of missions. I didn't want to do, I didn't want to, like, start do a whole game because these videos tend to get long anyway. But I also didn't want to, like, start out with, like, nothing. So uh, I can pick, I guess, one of these three uh i wouldn't mind doing is this like very hard or easy bonus keep factory systems 12k uh keep four systems intact take five damage or less uh, okay so those are rewards let's kind of let's do this one i think that'll be easier for us we'll do this game reminds me of a lot of things it kind of reminds me of um tower of guns the hazard system that could make it easier to navigate more so tower of guns than uh the uh, successor to that which was mother gunship because mother gunship was all about stacking weapons on top of weapons not as much uh for this like you you more or less kind of get the weapons that you get and you have to strategize around them i'm going to turn it down just a little bit on my end I think that turns it down on your end as well, but I'll turn it down as well, just in, uh, just to be sure. So here's our mech. Here's what we are to do. Keep factory system, keep four systems intact, take five damage or less. So it sounds to me like the best thing to do would be to make a beeline to the brain. And so this is what the game is kind of like you have to, and we don't have a lot of, we don't have like eyes on the map. This is a very loose interpretation. Oh, this is our first first time I've seen weapons on the outside of the ship. Interesting. I want to kind of make a beeline for the brain. Is this something I can enter? No. It might be that I can't. Oh, here we go. So we can go in here. It's going to be a lot harder. This game, you have to really strategize. Let's pick up one of these. These are weapons. Ripper saw. I have run out of ammo on my basic weapon, so I need a new weapon. Um, you're gonna do a lot of strategizing about like where you want to go and how like how you want to do it. The one thing I was gonna say, the one thing I miss in the Crypt Art was the ability to kind of like map out your uh, destination. Like you're able to kind of like draw lines around the map and uh, really figure out what you want it to do. Um, and you're not able to do that in this game, and I understand why. The reason being is because it's 3D and it would be harder to do, it'd be harder to set up. And so they opted for you, like, you just kind of look, you know, keep checking the map and, and see where you want to go. Maybe there's a way to mark the map, but I haven't found it yet. Ooh. We've got a, a rocket launcher. They've got some pretty dicey dudes. Let's uh, check out what this weapon is. Nuke. Ma places manually armed a nuke. This miniaturized nuclear explosive must be manually armed and will detonate after five seconds, immolating. Yeah, I mean, that seems good. Let's switch to that. I feel like in this game, you are your best asset as a, as a player is to like adapt. No keys to unlock. So we need to go get a key. Um, can we destroy this thing? Yeah, we can. Um, I took a little bit of damage on this floor. It's hard to... Not impossible, but it is kind of hard to recover sometimes. So it seems to me we can't we can't make a beeline for the brain. That is our goal, by the way, is to like destroy the the mother brain. And 
we'll get you know rewards based on um how well we do it and you you know this time we we need to you know keep certain systems alive the systems however oh there we go there's our key the systems are, are what kind of give the brain extra defenses so like you know ouch get out of here bud uh you know one system will like be a, a generator that like um gives the brain more shield and one assist asset will be like uh the duplicator or whatever that creates more enemies and so you got to be aware uh like the more the more systems you take down the easier it's going to be ooh, the easier it's going to be to um take down the brain or you can just make things really difficult on yourself like i am like it, it, you can see it's got a shield right now but maybe we can Rocket take out this hazard ammunition. system oh Depleted. yeah we're out of rockets maybe i can just use this nuke um no that's the i want to use the nuke okay all right run away run away oh wow that's that's big i don't think that did any damage to the brain didn't seem to anyway what's this rail cannon it would be nice to have an actual yeah that's that's nice um looks like we can't do any damage until i get that shield down um so we can see that the shield system is over there so we're gonna need to make a run for that and if you're smarter than me you'll have recognized that right away and in fact they tell you like yeah you, you can't really do anything until you bring down the shields but hey at least i got like i was gonna have to clean out that first room anyway so we've kind of made cer certain things easier on ourselves so let's go over there and i think what separates gunhead from a lot of other like first person um roguelike games is that it's got a lot of verticality and you you have like infinite jetpack which is quite neat it's not something i've really seen it's not a six degrees of freedom game you're like you're not doing any rotating in space um this isn't really what we want oh shoot I'm just trying to figure out where we need to go. Um, yeah, you're, you're not doing any ro rotating in space. So it seems like we have to destroy this thing. But I can't destroy this thing because it's also protected by this guy. So one system is protected by another system is protected by another system. So let's go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Um, do this with, like, all of the bonuses. I'm not sure if there's a way to, like destroy a system can i get through here unlock with key yeah let's do that and what i'll do is i'll use a nuke our last nuke Item. ammunition depleted that's doing some nice damage oh please stop please stop oh Ooh. well i got rid of that system a lickety split so that's kind of nice um there's also some health here where is the health i think it it disappeared oh i see that key card only keeps that door open for a short period of time well there's a door over here so let's go ahead and open that instead oh something just like punched me out the door all right so now that that's down now we can come over here and um bring down these shields i don't have any more nukes so we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way which is shoot it there we go easy enough it'd be nice to get some health you can repair like damage is sustained between like between missions right so like if i leave this mission with damage I i'm still gonna be damaged on the next mission unless i pay to uh to remove that damage and uh you don't really want to pay to remove the damage you want to keep your money this game's all about trying to make as much money as possible all right, uh, let's get over here. And the brain should be good to go now. It is good to go.
That was a fun little combo thing I had going on there. That's the brain destroyed. That's the mission complete. And yeah, uh, missions aren't very long. Even though I got sidetracked there. Compliments onto your crew. It's good business practice to keep your under. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't keep the factory system alive apparently. But I also didn't keep four systems intact, so we don't get those bonuses. Not sure how I was meant to do that, since uh, I had to bring down the shields in order to do any damage. But maybe there's ways around that in the future. We've gathered enough data to pin down the location of a target specimen. We'll see on the bottom left. Derelict. Um, what we can expect. Like this, this one here doesn't have any shield, so maybe we can make a B line for the brain on that one. Uh, same with this one. Destroy failsafe system, keep shuffle system, destroy hazard system. Okay, so we'll get rewards for destroying things. Seems like that's what I am better at, is destroying things. So let's head in that direction. We do have the same kind of crossroads map I've been, I've been, you know, talking against. Getting scanned by an unregistered system signal. Okay, interesting. Oh, we actually get a full map this time. That's kind of nice. Um, yeah, like, I just kind of wish I could mark the map in any way. Just, like, make a plan. Even, like, mark the systems and be like, go here first, you know? I'm missing that. That's something that I really liked in uh, Cryptarch. Um, and I, I wish I wish we had that. But uh, it's fine. That's, you know, it is what it is. So we do have one uh, shield system, but is it protecting the brain? I don't even know where the brain is. It looks like we only have highly intelligent guardian drone originally built as an overseer of a dr once massive alien armada. Jeez, okay. We don't really want to hit that if we can avoid it. We do have to destroy the... Sh oh, we have to keep the shuffle system, destroy the hazard system. So where is the hazard system? Here's the alarm alarm system. Protects another system with a security alarm. That triggers if that system is in danger. Additionally, the system controls trip laser alarms emitted emitters throughout the ship. Uh, and we have a... Ha we have... One There's our hazard system. So it looks like we can go in through the top and then go left or on a, it'll be on our right to the hazard system so let's go ahead and do that so i'm just gonna fly over i do think this is pretty cool like they've managed to keep kind of the uh you know, interesting mechanics of Cryptarch, like the fact that you can like jump in from every side, the fact that you do have to kind of plan things out. Um, and it is, it is quite challenging. Like it, it's, it's wild how they've adapted the, you know, Cryptarch into 3D. It's not an easy thing to do. I just hope that it doesn't go unnoticed like uh, Cryptarch kind of did. Can we destroy those lasers? Yeah, we can. Uh, we took one damage, but there's some health over here, I think. Ow. Took another damage. Don't really want to be taking damage if we can avoid it. We've got a... Ooh. Something is shooting at us. What is shooting at us? There, there it is. Not a very good shot. The fact that you have to, like, kind of continuously boost... Ah. We have to shoot that center thing. Hazard system remaining. Fail safe, guard safe. We got some health. We also got a key, and that should help us um, get into something early. Oh, interesting. Everything just got shuffled around. Um, so how is that going to change things? I don't know where I'm... Sp I, I, am I supposed to destroy the Overseer? What is our ultimate goal? Um, highly intelligent guardian drone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, what... Automatically assume the functions of a destroyed system. Oh, I see. They have fail-safe systems. Destroy the fail-safe system. I have to go and destroy the fail-safe system. So where is it? It's... I think it's in the... 
Well, one failsafe system is now assuming the hazard system. Do I have to destroy the failsafe system because it's also the hazard system? Because, yeah. Okay, there's a lot. There's a lot going on there. Um, oh, is that a baddie? That yeah, is. Don't even give them a chance. Um, okay, I, they, we're gonna get shuffled again in 34 seconds. But if I can get to the failsafe system, then I it may be that I get shuffled along with it. So I, I you know, I stay where I am. Fly along here. Fly into here. Is it, this got a? Oh, it doesn't have a shield. Nice. Oh god. Oh, we got drones. We have. We had drones. They're dead now. System shuffled. Okay, we did get shuffled. Where? I know there's more baddies here. Oh, we got this thing here trying to make drones. Uh, the music is a nice indicator of like you're safe now you know there's no nothing else trying to kill you weapon station we could go check that out and then what is this the alarm system um i'm assuming i'm gonna need to destroy the shield system which means we would it would be in our best interest to destroy the alarm system because the alarm system right now is tied to the shield um and we don't want this we don't want things to get harder on us and also there's no fail status there's nothing you know no problems if we destroy the alarm Energy, i don't know how to weapon, here we go i'm out of rails ow oh no Okay, that destroyed it, but I don't know if I didn't mess up. We're gonna need a new weapon. Missile pod. Always remind me of something. Like let's beautiful birds taking flight. Let's replace uh, the the little voice quips. By the way, really remind me. Ouch. Recovered. They remind me of like Sly Cooper specifically. Like a couple of the voice commands really sound like Sly Cooper to me. And, um, also, like, some of the uh, humongous games, like, you know, like, uh, Pajama Sam. Like, they've got a lot of character in them, but th specifically, they've got that kind of, like, very kind of humorous, light-hearted kind of banter thing going on. And I actually, I really, I'm really into it. All right, so that's the alarm taken down. Now we will... This is a bigger mission, so it's it, you have to you have to be a bit more methodical about it. Um, have we been shuffled recently? Shuffle in 10 seconds. Um, I could have gotten rid of the shuffle. If I can get to that room with the armor in 7 seconds, then I could avoid... I don't think I'm going to make it. 4, 3, 2, 1... I think I made it. No, I didn't. But hey, guess what? We are in the shuffle system room, so let's get rid of this stupid thing. I don't know how to... Oh, there it is. Oh, I, that's a cute thing. I like... I really like how the system... Like, destroying the system is uh, indicative of the system. Like, it, it's... How you destroy it is um, characteristic of it. So, like, yeah, its weak point gets shuffled every time you hit it. That's fun. Um, okay, so shuffle system is gone. Keep sh Oh, no, that was our bonus. We had to keep the shuffle system. Oh, I'm a dummy. Brutal. Okay, well, where are we? We're here. So I need to leave. It's fine. It, we don't fail or anything. We just don't get as much money. And sometimes you gotta, like, weigh the pros and cons and, like, just make things easier uh, on yourself. Um, where's... Oh, there's the door. So here's the armor. Shield system. The word system is beginning to not mean anything for me anymore. 
get rid of that i really like this uh melee weapon recovered like it's a little boost Ooh, that guy was about to speed into me where did you go oh shoot ow they take two hits they take two hits and they're kind of brutal uh mine proximity explosive well we don't want to deal with that power up station that'd be kind of nice i could i could deal with the power up Get rid of that. Is there anything else in here? There's some health. I don't know if we lose anything. Like, sometimes the bonus mission is didn't pick up any health. Greatly hey, decreases audio output from weapons and footsteps. Nice. I don't think we... Like, I don't think that replaces anything. That's just a benefit. Okay, so... Uh, we want to go back to where we came from. Uh, through there through there and then head east because we're just about done now and we're gonna go and fight the guardian and they won't have a shield now hopefully they're not too tough they're right at the entrance what is that oh that's another hazard system we still have to destroy that the only reason it still exists is because one of the fail systems fail safe systems replaced it We gotta come in here and destroy the hazard system now, or the fail safe system now, hazard system. Ow! Oh, shoot. How do we do this? Oh, I gotta get, get in there. There we go. I don't really have a weapon right now, which is a problem. Is that a weapon I could take? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's an item. Rocket explosive. Add to inventory or equip to slot one. Sure. Let's equip to slot one. So we destroyed that. Did we get money for it? Still no? Ah, oh, stupid failsafe. The other failsafe system also destroyed it. Or a... Uh, uh, occupied it so now i gotta go destroy that gotta i'm really working for this like 20k <laughs> all right let's fly over here uh and i guess i'll use a key because i'm nah i won't use a key and there's also a weapon in there which would be nice because i still am missing a weapon We got good, like, I, I appreciate that I can see doors through walls and stuff like that. Uh, this is a frag gun. Let's replace our main weapon. Ooh, that's kind of nice. That thing was about to whack me, and it, apparently this only takes one shot. Okay, hazard system neutralized. We got some health. Uh, I think we're good. I think there was a key card there I want to pick up. Key code recovered. Okay, and then we're leaving, and now we're finally going to go fight the guardian. And we did get paid for destroying the hazard system. Hilarious that we had to destroy it like three times. I suppose what we, uh, mm, I don't know. There's there's other ways we could have done that. Like we could have destroyed some other systems to take. I don't know. Uh, you just I just had to destroy it three times. Okay, let's. Uh, we're gonna use one of our key cards to enter here and then fight the big bad. I see the weak point. Um, do I have to shoot underneath it? I guess so. I wonder if I have to shoot the leg parts at all. Okay, this is clearly hurting it. Oh, shoot. I have to be hitting the front now. 
Okay, I kind of get it. It's got different weapons. I can hit the weapons while they're firing. I, I lucked out with this weapon because it does pretty good damage. Can, like just kind of sneak attacks in there. Oh, is that it? Nice. I didn't take any damage. Is dissipating. Looks like you did it. All right. We got we got paid. We got 20,000, 21,000 for destroy hazard system, 13,000 for destroy fail safe system. And then 15,000 for salvage reward. We made a lot of money from that. 93k. Very good. Captain. New technology. Your crew has done well in revealing the security weaknesses of this asset. I have faith that once we adapt this specimen's technologies into our own surveillance network, any such exploits will be swiftly rectified. Nice. Contract signed. Stow your gear and buckle up. We're pushing off. Um, so I guess I would, I could try like a warship. Standard warship, high and heavily armored enemies and sentries. Health stations, four drones, 42 sentries, 18. Which is not bad compared to a network. Hazardous and tricky due to its fail safe and shuffle systems. Highly alarmed, no sentries. So I guess I would, I would do a... It's got good indicators for like how difficult a mission is going to be. But yeah, I'm gonna keep it to that, keep it si simple, and that gives you a, a really good idea of what kind of game this is. A high number of maintenance drones aboard this ship. They seem to be originating from some kind of repair system. I would recommend ah. making it a priority target. Otherwise, it'll fix up any other systems you may destroy. I could definitely see how this game would develop, but I mean, I feel like the the you there's your you have your kind of like basic meat and potatoes. Oh, look at that! So these are all trophy stations for bosses that I fought. That's kind of cool. Um, I really like this game. I'm actually gonna play a lot of this in my off time because like. I, I don't sense a lot of meta progression. There's a little bit for sure. I are hard to even like show that off. We can like buy some licenses. I don't know if these are like these stay put through each game, but um, these will like give us access to new weapons, um, good or bad. Couldn't couldn't really tell you. I, I honestly kind of like it when you are just unlocking replayability and the guns aren't necessarily good or bad. They're just different. Um, so we like, we could purchase the flat cannon license. Let's do that. And that'll give us a, uh, a flat cannon. They say they'll give you a freebie when you first start. So yeah, we can unlock new tech. I can change the difficulty and I, I appreciate that there is a difficulty rating. I'm on medium for your interest, open progress console. So um total missions zero uh this seems broken because i've clearly finished some missions unless these are only for like dependent on like the full mission ships that ships defeated three sections explore 22 keys acquired six enemy stats system stats i like this kind of stuff and here we can like repair our mech um I kind of wish there was a it, it kept some of the method, methodical nature of cryptarch where you like you kind of have to plan ahead like switch out your stuff um we can like here we can um see if i can like change my weapon here with yeah so i can change it with um stuff that i've stored and uh, potentially reload as well so I wouldn't, I like the spike. It's one, it's a really good standby since it doesn't require ammo. Um, missile pod is nice. Can I like reload it? Doesn't look like I can, but I can, oh yeah. So there'd be no point in like replacing it with a weapon I have no ammo for. 
I'm actually not sure how to like buy ammo. I would kind of like to do that. It's probably it's probably something really simple and easy. Um, inventory. Hmm. You know what? We can just look at how to play inventory. Or weapon slots. When you die, you lose your inventory, but any weapons items will stay unlocked. So there you go. There's your meta progression, but it's replayability more than anything. Um, we'll then add your inventory for that mission and lock it to be found on future ships. But I'm not sure, like, I, I don't know how I would, like, reload. I don't think that, re like, buying ammo is something you really do. Unless that I'm wrong about exit me mech suit. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, if that is a thing, then then I'm, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> but I I feel like the, the spirit of the game is, like, stay adaptable. Switch your weapon out when you ru run out of ammo. You're not really meant to like dwell on one weapon at like for very long just like grab whatever you find replace adapt and uh do as, as well as you can but anyway if you enjoyed this hit the like button consider subscribing and uh check the link in the description for um to you know for gunhead let me know what you thought of it in the comments i'll see you guys next time take it easy